Okay guys, so let's do another liquid lipstick collection slash declutter video. I'm going to do this section right here. It's all of my red shades. Um, so let's just get started. I don't think it'll be too much of a declutter. I'm just seeing what might have dried out, what I really don't care for or reach for, or just what I have. So let's just start. Let me move this. So I was saying in previous videos, Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Formula is what made me love liquid lipsticks and is one of my favorite formulas. This is the shade Heartbreaker. Um, I probably have like almost all of her liquid lipstick shades. It's crazy, I know, but I love it. And this is a very true, true red shade. It would be perfect for Valentine's Day or a nice night out. And it's a classic, so I'm definitely not getting rid of that. This is the brand Le Medier de Beauté. Um, you could find them, well, you could find them on Neiman Marcus, but I believe they are being slowly uh, phasing out. They are all really discounted, and I really like this brand, so it's sad to see it, see them go. Um, but this formula is beautiful, and that is also a true red shade in Taboo. Taboo. So that I am definitely keeping too. And here's another one. I think I got this in like, one of them was like one of their holiday sets and some of them I bought individually. This is the shade Scheme. Let me see how similar it is. Huh. This one feels not as pigmented. Is this one drying out? It doesn't look dry. Maybe I just didn't mix it too much. Well, this one, I don't know. What's the deal with this one? It looks a little bit sheerer and a little bit thinner. Not as much color as the one next to it. But I've used it, so huh. maybe should I get rid of one? They are so similar. Maybe I'll get rid of this one scheme since it is a little bit thinner and I don't know why. Get rid of that. Okay, here is a Kat Von D mini in Nosferatu. I, as much as, you know, I'm not a fan of her as a person, I really like her formula for liquid lipsticks. So, and that is a little bit deeper shade of red, which I could pull off, so I will keep that. Oh, this is definitely not leaving. It's Too Faced Melted Matte um, from their holiday set with the cute, gummy or cinnamon gummy bears or something but it's called cinnamon bear and it smells like cinnamon candy and the set was so adorable i think it sold out really fast and i like the Too faced liquid lip formula um and it was super affordable too for that set Ugh, it smells like cinnamon so good so that is not going anywhere this is the jeffree star holiday liquid lipstick in poinsettia so it has the sparkly packaging from that collection and it's like a metallic. Well, not, I don't know if I would, yeah, I mean, it looks metallic, yeah. So I guess it's metallic. I would say it's definitely um, has gold shimmer running through it. And I think I just really wanted to get something from that collection because of the packaging. And that was the shade I decided to settle on, even though I don't really wear metallic liquid lips, but I don't know, maybe I should just sell that since I just don't think I would wear it. Anything I do feel like I'm going to sell will be listed on my Mercari account. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills in Seraphine. I'm not the biggest fan of the Anastasia formula. I just feel like it does seem to be a lot drier than other formulas. It's not my favorite. And I think I just like found this at TJ Maxx or something. So that one I think I will get rid of too. Here's another Jeffree Star in Unicorn Blood. I remember when I was like, just getting, let me see if it dried out. No, it's still okay. It's very dark <laughs> blood red color. Um, just starting to get into his brand and Unicorn Blood was like so coveted and like such a, iconic shade in his collection so I was just like oh I need to have that of course 
Here is Dose of Colors in Merlot. I had, I can't remember what shade, but one of my first Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. That's like a very nice bright blue-red, kind of almost magenta undertones a little bit. Um, can't remember what shade, and when I wore it, I hated it. But that was when I first just started getting into liquid lipsticks, and I didn't realize that you should kind of exfoliate your lips and prep them so it doesn't look horrible and dry and, you know, look like your lips are peeling. So I think that was my mistake there because now I really do like their formula is the end of that story. <laughs> this is the Stila uh, Stay All Day Liquid Lip in Beso. I think, yeah, I think I just got this in a little Sephora play, so I'll get rid of that since I haven't even used it. Here is a Chanel Rouge Allure ink in Choquant. I do like this formula too. Ooh, that red. I remember when I just would wear this shade and put on my sunglasses and just feel like I was just so, so stylish and chic. Here is the Huda Beauty shade in Cheerleader. This is another gorgeous red shade. Yeah, it looks very similar to Heartbreaker, which I think is that one. But, you know, you never know when. Just want a red lip, so I'm not getting rid of that. This is the Revlon Matte Ultra HD lip color in passion so sometimes when I just go to the drugstore and I'm just browsing around I just buy something <laughs> just to buy which is awful and I do like this formula I just I don't know how long I've had this shade um, but I think I did get it later than the other shade so maybe I'll hold on to that for now Unicorn Blood, I think, with that little pink stain so far. It really, Jeffree Star lip, lipsticks really stay on there. Here is a ColourPop Ultra Metallic Lip in Queen. I do not wear metallic lips, so I don't know. And that wand came all janky like that. How gross. It's like all busted and like somebody, there it goes, ran it through the ringer. Um, oh, it's still... Still smooth, I'm surprised. I thought it would be dried out by now. Um, yeah, I just don't wear metallic lips. So, goodbye. And here's another one. Oh, this one though, I am keeping because it's Hello Kitty. And I don't care if it's metallic and it has the cute little bow, so that I'm definitely keeping. This is the shade Surprise. Here is a Buxom, what are Full on lip cream in Sangria. I do like the Bucks on lip formulas. This is kind of like, yeah, well, this is like a gloss, but lip cream, lip gloss, which is it? I don't know. I feel like I will put that in my gloss drawer because it's sheer and it's glossy. So, yeah, that I think I will. Here is a Clay de Poe Liquid Radiant Liquid Rouge in 18. A very glossy red shade but since it's more opaque I will keep it still in this drawer I was saying how much I love these Lancome matte shakers and this is kiss me Cherie this was the first shade I bought from the formula and it's just well once you get some out Yeah, a little bit better. I have to really shake it, but it's, I feel like it's more pigmented than that. I just probably need to mix it some more, but I love that formula, so that is not going anywhere. Here is the Ciate Liquid Velvet in Diva. Um, that I have not used, so that I will just get rid of. Here's the NARS Liquid Velvet Lip Glide in Burning Love. So 
So this came in one of those sets from like Ulta with all the minis. And I do like this formula a lot, so I'll keep that. Oh, here's a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. I don't even know if I've worn this. I don't see. Oh, Aphrodite Kiss. I don't know. Did I? Did I oh, it looks used. It's just a very bright pink shade. Pink red. Um, it's a gloss. Pro matte gloss. So. Yeah, I just don't think I'll wear that. I'll toss that. Huda Beauty in Icon. Why is this in this drawer? This is like, yeah, this is in the wrong drawer. This is a nude. So, accident. That in the nude section. Here is the NARS Pro Matte. Power Matte uh, in Star Woman. I have this in full size. And then you keep getting... Ugh, it's just, sorry. Beautiful, beautiful red. And I like this formula. It's very liquidy, so you do have to be careful just making sure to apply it cleanly. And um, then it settles down and stays on for a while. Um, so this is a very nice kind of a little bit deeper red. And now you could get like the little deluxe sizes like everywhere from Sephora to Ulta so I bought it full size when it first came out. This is Troy Olivier in Stain and Glow Luxe Lip Stain in Tim. I think I got this yeah, from Anthropology maybe? I have not heard of this brand before and I have not seen them anywhere since. Kind of like a thicker gloss. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that because I really don't wear it. This is, I really, I don't know if you've heard me say before, don't like the Kardashians, but I caved in a very weak moment and bought two items from Kylie's Cosmetics and one was her face palette with Chloe, the Coco Collection, which I have for sale on my Mercari, and it's still for sale because nobody wants that shit. And uh, the other was like, I think her birthday velvet liquid lipstick set that has like four or five shades. And this is from that in the shade Surprise Me. As much as I don't like the brand and don't like them, I do think the liquid lip formula was okay. I don't remember hating it. So, yeah, that's that story. So I'll just keep that for now. I have this NARS. I don't know why I kept it in the box, but probably just because of the packaging. Um, lip cover in members only. Let's see. Looks just like that shade. I don't know what that was from anymore, but um, I mean, I guess I'll just keep it because I do still have it in its box. And last is this Etude House Dear Darling lip tint, I think, and I got it from Beauty Box Korea because I think the packaging is just so adorable. If I could get it out, looks like a little ooh, ew. That's a shame. Look at that. I haven't even used it. I just got it really because of the packaging. And it's separated and turned white, which I think when it does change color, that is not a good sign. <laughs> um, usually I make excuses to keep whatever kind of products, but I've never worn it. And it's kind of like supposed to stain your lips like a popsicle. And I just don't know, it's just like not mixed. Did it separate? But that's gross. But I'll probably, I'm just gonna keep it for the packaging because that's like really why I bought it anyway. Um, 
but yeah, I would never wear this on my lips, especially after seeing that now. <laughs> so that was it for my red liquid lipsticks, and thank you guys so much. I still have a few more shades to go, probably three more videos of the liquid lipsticks. So thank you again. My name is Lizzie. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. And if you love lipsticks, I have plenty more to show you. So just keep watching and thanks again. Bye.